everyone, my name is Dibor Banzara and today I'm here with my team member Maya and Zachary and our mentor is Bruce Benjamin. So we're the members of Robotic Project, you already know that. So some of you guys already know what our project is but I'm gonna explain it again for the new members and the members who want to join our project in future. So this project provides the platform for students to flourish their skills like programming, 3D designing, and assembling of the ro <coughs> sorry, of the robot. And right. There are three objectives regarding our project that we intend to complete. These are building a robot that satisfies the regulations for the VEX <coughs> Turning Point competition, understanding how certain systems and mechanisms work and how to utilize them, and honing our skills with using tools, programming in Robot C, a robot's coding language, and 3D modeling and printing. So if you weren't here last semester, this is the Turning Point competition uh, setup. So you've, so you've essentially the red and blue sides of the board, goal platforms, this that needs to be toggled and or stacked and flags that need to be toggled. During summer one, we built different prototypes with different mechanisms. So one of the prototypes we built during summer one is this. I use um, catapult mechanism for the ball launcher, which will help us to launch a ball at a certain angle and with a certain speed. The extending claw itself is more or less complete. Future modifications may be necessary. A rackin pinion extends the arm. Well, yeah, a rackin pinion extends and retracts the arm, while a motor in the wrist, if you wish, allows it to rotate. This will enable the robot to flip over and mount the discs, toggle the alarm mode's flags, and load the catapult mechanism. Now we're oh, it wasn't really finished yet. Sorry. Now, we're currently working on a way to raise and lower the arm, as well as mount it onto a turntable. Now, due to the claw's weight and overall configuration, we may need to use a hydraulic cylinder to achieve the former task. The competition's rules do permit the use of hydraulics, but doing so reduces the amount of motors we're allowed to use. The turntable will, the turntable will enable the arm to swivel, but the arm may need to be mounted on the side of the robot on account of the catapult. The robot should be able to rotate to help counteract the reduced workspace. Right. Okay, one of the main, one of the um, objectives of the game is to um, ha is to park in the central park for extra bonus points of 12, which could be crucial in winning the game. Um, this is to, for one, uh, one color robot to park here and for the other platform. However, when time is up, if you secure the center parking, then it's a bonus of 12 points. 12 points. So we aim to build um, a prototype that will help us secure the central parking. Um, and here are some of the attempt designs that we made out of cardboard and tape. Um, just to demonstrate first to see if it was working, um, and it was suggested by um, one of the STEM members, Tyler. He was in many competitions for battle robots. And the idea is to have a sliding shield where when the other robots attempt to knock us over, it will be trapped and we will create um, a gap in mass in its weight, lifting the first uh, wheels up and knocking it back over. <laughs> and oh, there's So when we tested that design, we noticed that because the two sides are exposed, our main objective is speed, which is crucial to winning the entire game. So we don't want to add um, more parts. Um, the other challenge is we're limiting to use of motors. So 
the main idea remains to create the curve, and we found that the best curve is uh, hyperbolic curve. To not use motors, we we thought about the Asian fan, the way it unlocks and locks. So um, we would just have to press a button and it will open a shield, uh, open up the shield. And we were also inspired by mimicking um, a bird's wing. So our conclusion is, for summer one, we, we worked on um, prototype of different mechanisms for our robots. For summer two, we are going to work on installing those mechanisms to our robot. And to reach us. Thank <laughs> <laughs>